What up? We're gonna start a new... A new game. Dun, 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 dun. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Let's move. At okay, what? Eddie Birdie. Congrats on the ten K. Ten K what? Me 100k. My I have a TikTok right now that's got like a hundred thousand some likes, hundred and thirty thousand some likes. Uh, so let's see. All right, custom for sure. Race. What class are we going to be? Okay. Let's be a warlock. 
Unless you guys have an opinion on what class I should be. I like the idea of being a warlock. I'll be a... Demon warlock. That sounds cool. I want to be a man. I'm definitely going to be a fiend. Okay. In service to fiends, work towards corrupting destructive ends. No, we're going with the fiend. Okay. Bells. You know what? I'll just go with what they give me here. Charm person. I'll just go with the. Sorry, I'm at 100k. Not really with it. No worries. Hey, I'm just glad you're here. Uh, let's see. Man. Medium-sized man. Where to next? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Red Devil. Yes. Genitals. Yep, look at that. Uh, I go with default genitals. <laughs> Surprised. Oh, 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 there it is. I was like, can't do anything with his horns. some twisty horns now oh. dark yes going to like that very much. Okay. Good enough. Name. Gorlock. 
It's Gorlock the Warlock. Warlock spelled with an A. Then that would look like Garlock. Garlock the Warlock. Why do you say Warlock? Like, war? I don't know. Whatever. He's Gorlock. <laughs> you need to guard him. Uh, that looks good. It's a squid. <laughs> Jeff Wayne, the graphics are awesome. I agree. Oh, Wilhelm scream. <laughs> it's super effective. So, Stuart, good to see you. Wait, what's happening? Oh, we're in hell. Um, so, Stuart. I saw that you subscribed to the Patreon. Thank you so much. You're the man. Father Ted, check it out. And tips. Tips are allowed because I've actually already played through. I've got a level four character, so I've played some of this before. But I hadn't streamed it, so... Now that I'm familiar with the game, I figured, let's do it. So if you want to, yeah, if you got, if you want to give me tips, I am totally fine with tips.
Just the tip. Sworn, I gave him black oh, horns. Whatever. Head. Special, super strong fire sword. I do not know about a special, super secret fire sword, so you'll have to tell me more about that. If not over. Dead. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Boom! Didn't you? The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Yeah. Oh, a sphincter. I'm gonna enter the sphincter. <laughs> Horticulture. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Help us. Oh. The Mind Flayer told me not to worry about that guy, so I never did. Okay, wait, no. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Remove us from this body! From this case, free us, please. Oh, shoot. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. All right, well. Very, very strong. I don't even need a sword. Forget the sword. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Thank you for following, Amelia. 79. Alright, so let's... Your 
free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Okay, little buddy. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. good sword though. Alright. I mean, I'll see it. I'll see what happens. If I can kill him, I'll kill him. Travis! What's up? You're not late. You're right on time. Just got started. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, that's a woman. Oh. Okay. My head. What is this? Squall. You are no thrall. Flakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Okay. DJ Donnelly's in the house. What's up? Shouldn't have done that. I forgot they get an attack of opportunity. I am fury. I am dead. It's Bush League. Nice. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the hell. I'm also surprisingly adequate in bed. That's what they say on the comment sheet. Something good here. Huh? Surprisingly adequate. Much more adequate than I was expecting. I need to find a way forward. Adequate. Adequate. Oh, wouldn't it be adequate?
the class, I am a warlock. I'm Gorlock the Warlock. I feel Can you guys hear me alright? Or is the sound is the sound too loud? How's the sound? How's it how it how's it? How does everything sound? I picked a warlock because I love characters with high charisma. Something something eldritch, but absolutely. And that's another reason why I like warlock. It's a spellcaster, but it's pretty simple. Eldritch blast. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Touch. No time for stragglers. Boom. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Soul appears dormant. The console hums to life. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Sure. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. And I think this character, I'm going to play them as evil. They are a warlock and a fiend warlock, so... I'm going to be evil. Feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. What's up, girl? At last. Thought I was done for. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. A gith. You keep dangerous company. And she's racist. Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. <laughs> Shadowheart. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. She's right. Lead on. Touch. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Machine made them hostile. Uh, Sacred Flame. Time to strike. 
murder this guy. Time to push my luck again. Eldritch Blast. Okay. That necklace. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Githyanki warrior, and centuries of darkness. Shravman Ken, what's up? Good evening. Cat fight. <laughs> Gotta kill that guy. Okay. She's the spellcaster. I thought it was that chick. Um, oh, hit. Oh, not through the fire. Use dash, I guess. I don't. 
do. On the move. Another step forward. to waste. Okay. If he's still, if he's just gonna attack that other guy, I'll move in with my other character. Got to move. That's a six percent. I should not have used fire. Victory awaits. Nice bleeding damage. We'll get there. Looks like these guys are all gonna attack me now.
come a little closer. guys are coming in to murder us. Doesn't matter. Oh shit. Stop the intruders! It's a great sword. All right. Um. Taking position. I wonder if that's going to count. Shit. It's not going to count. I got to see if I can go back. I looted it. I didn't loot it with my character, so I just. screwed that up. Pick that sword up with a different character, and I forgot that you lose your whole party at this point. 
bet that they're not going to have that sword the next time I see them, but I guess just have to see what happens. Oh shit! That's not the Big Dipper! It's a giant squid monster. Ship. And everybody's like, yeah. Another one of those. Look out. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. Let's have a look. Something's on my mind. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Better had remember it. Oh, me. She has nothing. So... Yeah, because my character didn't loot that sword, I think I don't have it, which is annoying, but... On my way.
Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Well, crazy. If it is, then the gith chick has it, so we'll see when I get to her. Anything of use? More of those wretched things. Level up. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready, whatever it takes. Never a dull moment. Another step forward. Better stay back. One strike.
Nice. a distant prospect. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? This guy. I'm not an idiot. I saw... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. The worm. That explains things. Somewhat. And to think. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Arrogant bastard. <laughs> a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Dude's asking for a punch in the face. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... You can see... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert... Side someone of that neck. can control these things, there might still be time. Puncture wound. I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. And I hate to turn down an invitation. Good luck. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Seems like a good moment to talk. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Darling. 
Lead on. Can't afford to stay idle. All right. What now? Oh, why? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. With haste. There, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even. You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feelings... You lose. know you love it. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Yes, Squid Daddy, yes. <laughs> Whip me more. Minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. The lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, Gross. radiate malice. Curb stop. Brain blast. <laughs> Death is too good. Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any few. Bunch of worthless. Oh, and actually some supplies. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Danger's my middle name. Aha, 
hand? Anyone? Gale. Oh my god. The magic around the sigil hisses like a cornered cat. Your only option <laughs> now is to grab the hand and pull. Nat one. Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. Usually better. Gale the Snail. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Nautiloid. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat <laughs> contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers it's a process known as ceramorphosis and let me assure you it is to be avoided you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance do you a doctor surgeon uncannily adroit with a knitting needle you seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Bully. Most excellent. A parasite. Oh, it was an act of foresight. You're not first in magic, are you? I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Go ahead. I'm listening. Wait in the camp. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the camp then. I'm gonna go get the gift chick.
Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Leave it for the goblins and if it to escapes, kill. How will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. One twenty. What happened? I missed what happened. How did that turn into a twenty? I'll take it. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. <laughs> Not even us. Damaze. Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die. No, you lying rat. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. Now we'll my see if I get my infection. sword. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. Ew! You have a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved it Is she an elf? Half Oh, elf. look at that! I oh, suppose the finer elf. details are lost on a creature like you. We're all racists. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen. Eager for battle. I can't see. Is it there? Oh my goodness, it is. That's awesome. Yes. And she can use it. Excellent. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's fantastic. Okay. Oh, welcome, rest. No time to rest. No traps, please. Step. 
indolence breeds madness. Level up. Fight, uh... to the ruins um let's take a long rest Go to hell. Hold your horses. Just poorly making a point. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. A, what? That's not abstract. Ballet of Flames invites reflection. But you're right. Let's be up with the Lark. Find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. I guess Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. What? Who wishes to speak with me? I have something to ask. What were you two talking about? You and Gail. Just don't expect my... And just to be clear, come daybreak, finding a healer is our first priority. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. Everybody thinks they know what's best, but they don't know shit. I am the leader. I'm the leader. I'll say when we can go. Okay, we can go. Us 
Not another step, hear me? Boss! Got company up here! What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Twenty-seven. Well, uh, in that case... Come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! It would have been quicker to kill them. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Never gonna work. Assume nothing. Nothing. Thank you, Gibblebook. Everything all right out there? Boom. Oh, I told him it wasn't safe out there. Get inside and I'll rustle up some bandages. Here the hell's... You're dead! Uh-oh.
<laughs> What's in this corpse? Patron God is obvious. Not here. Like it's will be done. That sword is so useful. Oh my goodness. What's inside? Time to press ahead. Simple enough. Does it open? Action, not reaction. Let's move. have seen everything.
Oh. <sighs> I've got a long road ahead. I have to keep going. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? We can keep going a little longer now. Okay. Hmm. What was that? What was that? Oh shit. <laughs> Camp's a let's take a rest. What's up for discussion? <laughs> Handsome devil, aren't I? Well, be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? 
My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Yeah, I'll sleep well with that ominous portent hanging over my... Okay. Gonna have a quick intermission. I go use the bathroom, then we'll be back.
This place wasn't built for the living. What's next? Let's try this way. Trump. and blades always shop. Watch your back. 
Start a conversation. Have to keep pushing. No one stopped me yet. Breathe deep. Shared stash. I have magic pockets. That's amazing. <laughs> Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. This does. Forbidden knowledge, without a doubt. It's far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. opens a loose page comes with it magic pulses from the parchment what was once script is now an obliterated scrawl you have a sense these are names a list but of what Barely success. Gods. These are the names of gods, once lost but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Sweet. 
That's Jurgal, scribe of the dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Uh oh. See, this is a weird glitch that I've noticed. Uh... You see how my toolbar and everything went away? I don't know why that happens. But what I usually do is I save the game if I can, and I just load the game. The exact same point, and it usually comes back. Way. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. These boots have seen everything. I was trying to leave them behind, but I guess I didn't. Yes, I did. Okay. My path be true.
That's unfortunate. enough movements. Dash. Surrender their valuables, even after death. Fools. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. Dusty old baubles. Don't waste a step. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Speak with the dead. Yeah. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? At this particular junction, Perhaps that is not so far from the truth. Oh. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. He's out. Time to get going.
So there, oh, so that way, had the books, can't go out that way. Chasm. Doesn't look... Doesn't look too promising. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. Curse to put my hands on everything. Take a long rest. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... well... blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Um... I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. It's supposed to be evil, so I should team up with a vampire. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. You could just get me. A small a amount of crap. sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. happening something stirs deep within you hungry and alert it's taking something you'll never get back his mind opens up revealing cracked and quivering memories at their heart you see dark eyes commanding you to feed you open your mouth and bite down not into a tender neck but into the twisting body of a rat the only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Be 
Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Um... No. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. He get me or not? What the hell was that? Very well. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well... <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Oh, I have no idea. By rights, I should be cinders in this light, but someone or something is keeping me alive. Vampires sparkle Standing in the, in the daylight. Wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. No more surprises. You have my word. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Githyanki. I wouldn't recommend it. I won't get you, but the Mind Flayers might. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Unless, of course. There now. Shall we go? I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful.
Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Look! Bugs! By the nine hells! Open the gates! Open the gates a little. <laughs> The blade and suffer its sting. Ooh. Suffer its sting. I have backstab. Do that vampire bite? Shit, that was awesome. So far back. Good to have the high ground. Bicycle and sword.
screwed up the terrain. I don't want to... Okay. the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends, and if they're near by. Let's have a look. Yeah. Ritual staff. So... On melee hit, so... She... Uh, it's time to level up.
triple jumping distance. Champion. Someone there. There's no time to waste. Keep your distance, darling. Gotta level up, gotta level up. Rogue subclass. Ooh. All right, you're going to be an arcane trickster. Now nah, you'll be an assassin. I wonder what the next move is. I mean, I'm never going to use it. Because I'm just going to be casting spells, but I guess it doesn't. Uh... <laughs> Spells, okay. Find this hold person.
summon a weapon. Boom! I just get that? That's awesome. Swift as my feet can carry me. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Old place is crawling with gobbos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. Too little, too late. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. True to form and good riddance. This grove has troubles enough. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters.
I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business. Perhaps you could persuade her. For more time to prepare, if nothing else. We owe you a great debt. What little we have, we'll scrape together. Really? We're messengers now. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. I care about our lives, our futures. No. Refuge. Well met. And is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. All right, so. Sylvanas, guide your path. Was she not? Calm down, please. I won't leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Is that blood? No, never mind. There is work to do. Heavy armor, not proficient with it. Creature isn't what it appears to be. Okay. I need a quick word. He stares right past you as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the or as you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Oh, guess not. 
Three inspiration? Okay. That is better than a one. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle, though. No way to open it. Calm down. Please. I won't leave you behind. You're going to get us killed. Look, don't take your eyes off my hand. <laughs> Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Hey, hold on. You gotta pay for that. Fine. Keep it. Call it a sample, yeah? But you gotta at least look at the other rings, okay? I gotta eat. Really? I, I mean, that's what I got. Nothing caught your eye, huh? Far be it from me to argue. Anyway, see you again sometime. You spot the boy giving a sly wink as he turns away. You're back. Look to buy, sell, or what? Please, last through. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Drama. Come, Magrin, give him a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Yes, I see. Ah, oh, I do wish I could understand you. Yeah. 
Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. <laughs> Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Now, Wrath. <laughs> no. To me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? Bury the remains. Continue the rite. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. Well... We must focus on the right. She's there. Child for that. Korga, we are guardians, Let's get not in and out killers. of this place before Spare anybody could tears. decide to bear their fangs. She knew the us. danger. She still tried to run. The longer we stay here, the closer we come to reaching the same fate. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. So you say, yet you share their infernal blood. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded.
I see you. Just give me a moment. This medicat. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. No. That was Master Halson. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. First things first. Tell me, have you noticed anything unusual? Not just symptoms. Any strange events? Nothing? You're sure? All right. I suppose that makes things easy. No. I can't let you leave. You could transform any second. This is the last time I'll ask. Please. To hell's with it. Wow, two thirteens. I... I'm sorry, but I can't let you go. If you transform out there, you'll kill everyone in the grove. Everyone for leagues around. Master Halson did say the Drow's tadpole was dormant. Maybe yours is too. All right. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel... I hope it doesn't come to that. But, you know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Master a Halsey giant and ship talking. just crashed. Studying, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. 
There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. You can't cure what you don't understand. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. You, though, if you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. I can't make any promises, but I know this for sure. Otherwise, that yeah. vial's your only option. Thank you. I wish I could tell you more. All I can say for sure. Good luck out there. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why burn poison? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. That's a quick draft and ceremorphosis nonetheless. Arabella is dead. How much farther can I go? What did I tell you? Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. She's dead. Like how it says like save Arabella complete like she's dead I did not leave her <laughs> Off my hands. Swing and swing, parry, and... and again. Children, swing and look who's here. eyes another one my friend's blood not enough come to rip me open too let's rip him In open Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow is this monster with you Lower. 
You saw another gith. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Cool your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. Again. Gods deliver me. Swing and swing and parry. And again. Swing and swing and. Shoes. Where are my boots? Your kind proves compliant. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The tea sling was clear. If there are a Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Pure. The crash holds the. By covenant, I can say no more. gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with It doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. Have a word. I've already heard Arabella, nine summers old, and now she'll never see another. Because of druid law. Every natural law demands I take up my sword, storm their lair, and... But no. That's what Korga wants. I won't give her the satisfaction. I'll get my people clear of this. But on our terms. It's good of you to offer, but there's a... We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. There may be a way, though. Somebody must be leading them. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Storm's truth. You really are her creature, aren't you? No. You would send us to our deaths. Break the 
When you heal another creature, give that to the healer. Ah, oh. the apple. Then. Why, why, why have I not had my imp summon? Could have had an imp this whole time.
these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? should speak up. It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. Good Lord. I am. I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. Oh boy. You're quite the ally, after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Aren't you just? Heavens forbid. I just need to get some air. I'll see you later, I'm sure. A fine evening. The moonlight shines warmly on us. Hideous. All of it. That? Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. I see naught but cowards cowering in their groves and grottos. Flowering meadows and fecund soil have softened their minds and muscles. They rely on strangers' swords when they should be forging their own. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. But enough of this. Oh. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn. We resume our search for a crash. Our cousins. Okay. That everybody that wants.
God, everybody wants to talk to me. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? Damn. You find a current of hope flowing through her thoughts. She believes you all have a real chance. She's anxious to find this person in Baldur's Gate. Whoever it is has a strong hold over her and can give her something she desperately wants. Yes, vastly so. But I don't want to talk about her. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. We meet again. As predicted, I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. A mending of the threads between life and death. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Indeed. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even No hope of clearing this without a shovel. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about something? It's dead. Let's go. My faith 
will guide me. Don't touch me. That's thought you was busy with the lads in Elson's Grove. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. Light on my feet. What's that? Let's see what this does. for consorting with us. My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my... Bardi, Bardi. What a day. Looking ahead. Is 
She went to see you. We know she did. Do you think you can sir? Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. I ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rena. It's our sister, Mayrina. She's... well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next uh, thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever... None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Are you joking? I ain't got a clue. But, Joel. Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now. Lazelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft. Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. Turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Hello and welcome to Bogrot. Now, kindly, giz all your stuff. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. True soul. Right. Uh, welcome to Bog Rot. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Or whatever you want to call it. It's your town now. <laughs> Great, thanks. Master Starion, but give me so much as a hug. What? Mm. I do so very like spicy food. You like trash? Then keep looking. You find work, but you're so efficient. 
Why not have a little fun? Fun? I fight to win, not to make spectacles. <sighs> what a waste. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. T nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. Sensible. At the ready. Weapon blueprints. A master blacksmith's work. Not too refined here. Just quick ideas sketched out.
find Baron and an Ogre. Let's just put this behind us. Far behind us. Banned. <laughs> yeah. We're walking in on that. Ugh. Shadow Heart. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. Could you not stare so blatantly in my neck when you say that, please? Oh, but do keep calling her flower. She'll love that. Enough time wasted. Battle awaits. <clears throat> Fun watching you play. Oh, good, good. I hope so. I always worry that it's not, but I'm like, I can't really do anything differently than what I do. So that's that's. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything else. Where was I going? Okay. Um. to fly stop this thing <laughs> flap those wings some more and i'll feed you a worm and you hope you got a stomach for rights quick get him Let's say my rogue is in trouble. Let me help save him. Ooh, that looks fun. No. 
the world is a face on you. Sorry, carcass, when I'm done with ya. About to die. Stop! I give up! For my mercy, please! What? I know things. If you let me live, I'll make it worth your while. I, I promise! No! Why? It's been a long day. I'll need to rest soon. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Dashes like potion of Im or wait potion of invisibility. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. Why? We... we should keep moving. Oh, subtle. Edith, I'm trying to be incognitous. <laughs> Nothing. The trick of the light. I'll take you as I find you. Now let the matter rest. Damn. Let's just move along. Time's a rare currency for both of us. Okay, 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 okay. I'm swift as my feet can carry me. Wondering why I was in pain before. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles. It, it's just something I have to live with. Positive. You can trust me on that. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. 
bag of Kamara. There's pustulant fucks. Well, get on with it. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. Take my pack, if you can find it. See it. Anything of use? Don't give me trouble now. Four. Very heavy grade at. All right, I know for a fact there's a group of level four trolls in here you can fight, but I don't think I'm ready to fight them yet. So, I'll try going south. I am going to take a rest. just thinking about you remembering our little encounter in the night when you tried to kill me and I am very grateful it did get me thinking about the others though how they might taste and <laughs> not that anyone's volunteered it's just an idle fancy No, that's the thing. I can't quite figure them out. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gif? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. <sighs> yes. Heaven forbid we have an interesting conversation. Still, I am intrigued by the possibilities. <sighs> no one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, 
in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Ah, a refined palate. I can't disagree. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Very unsettling. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Get out of my swamp! creature sporting a red hat glares at you. Red cap? It's a murderer. He that noise dips his the cap in the blood of his victim. Sheep. I guess I could kill him. Should have saved, I guess, before that. But...
my path be true. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> Eldritch Blast, I love you. Gosh, that's ridiculous. Brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. We need to be careful.
That might be worth a look. Something's on my mind. The frog's entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. Eyes away, croaking a warning, eyes wide in terror. Oh, my God. Five percent. Like we should start to flee. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Yeah, so do I. Alright, well I guess we'll give it a shot. Just almost like one frog. Time to press ahead. Just almost killed me. Okay. Riverside Tea House. Maybe that's where I should go. Um. Visitors.
Ghost boat. What's inside? everywhere. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of campsite as us. No ordinary creature did this. Red caps ripped the place to pieces. All right, I guess we'll try and go to this witch's house. Stranger, forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter? I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats.
And more. We steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters, the list goes on. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Let's kill him. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage, but at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. May your road be kind. Wait, that's it? We're just walking away? Don't you think we should do something about the vampire issue? Excellent. A Starian? No. It can't be. Let's hope it doesn't come back to bite me later. I 
can keep going a little longer now. What am I to do? I do not care. So that's progress. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Uh-oh. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Ah, I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Weird. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Well, you hurt the lady. We don't want things to get messy. What is it? What's going on? You just have one of those faces, Marina. So bland and forgettable. Smart move, sweetness. Now, I can tell you're in dire need of help, Petal. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? You're a sharp one. I am proposing a deal, but it's different from your little pact. You see, I prefer personal things. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then 
Back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. A touch, but sure you've two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you, my door is always open, Petal. And Yettle is here for you. I guess I'll let her take one of my eyes. Except that that sounds terrible. One of those precious peepers. Ta ta, Petal. That's how you do that. Hello, sweet. You going to give me one of those precious, glorious. One moment, and she needs her real nails for this. Oh, shit. Much better. That human skin is fierce, restrictive. Well, yes. I should bloody think so. Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose which I will it be, right or left. You absolute idiot. She's invisible.
Yes, here. I have no idea what to do. No idea what to do. Can't have gone far. Do you mean like? Okay, you do. You do mean that. have seen everything. They come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? You'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Darling Magrim, she wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Wait. Wait. My dearest Efren, he begged me to hold the deadly disease that You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. 
Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Petal. You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind. Look. Don't! You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. You see the hag eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks. Stop! Please! Please! A thief Away. who tried Away. to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Don't look. Don't! What's next, I wonder? Stop! Please! Please! Oh, enough waiting. Away! Away! A thief who tried to steal Don't from Auntie. Look. Now the good Don't guards my home. of life from within the door. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee, as she sets by with a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. Gentle Lauren. He wished to know what Stop. was to come. Please. Please. Away. Away. Ugh. Don't look. Don't. Stop. Please! Please! Away! Away! No! No! Don't look! Mustn't look! Mustn't see! I see it! You realize there's magic at work. Me! Dead! Dead! Flesh rotten! Bones shining! Skull splitting! Oh, gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, no. My mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flaying. Ah! No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No intention of letting that happen. Don't look. A thief don't. who tried to steal from Am. Feel the barest hint of life from with Please! Please! Away! Away! My 
my dearest Ephraim. No. He begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. My sweet Callum, no. whose beloved ass that his beauty... As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. See the shadowed outline of a figure. Don't look. Is there nothing else I can do? She isn't happy with me. Hey, what? Let's have ourselves a rest and then fight some ogres. That sounds like a good idea. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you. It's a rather personal matter that I'd have preferred to keep quiet, but needs must when the devil drives. I have no choice but to speak. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but... I am what I am. I never lied to you. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. Though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave. No, no, it's nothing like that. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high and the means of obtaining such artifacts challenging for a humble wizard to face alone. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest. Please. I've better things to do with my time than hoodwink gullible adventurers out of their trinkets. I know that what I ask may seem unreasonable. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Oh. -ho. You become one in Gale's mind, and you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you, a mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. <laughs> I was not expecting to get that one. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. Inside, there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. Giving me a suspense, are you? Come on, tell me. Do we have an agreement or not? It's a simple question, isn't it? What gives you pause?
What? You used that thing against me, and you saw you had no right. None at all. I'd rather be alone and spend another moment in the presence of someone inclined to such unjustified invasions of privacy. So be it. This is where we part ways. Screw that guy. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another tiefling prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Oh, yeah. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? We follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. I've no use for the Absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me.
what? A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. So... We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Do I just get to summon these guys whenever I want? Sound this horn to call Lump's frenzied band of ogres. They'll feast on anyone they can get their hands on. But if you've made a deal with them, they will make an effort to spare your party. So they're gonna make an effort to spare my party. I can call on these ogres whenever I want. Give it to her. Some... I haven't seen that game in years. This here's off limits. Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows. Goblins ahead. We'll need a cover story. Stop fidgeting. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Guess we're in with all sorts these days. 
if you're here to see Draw Ragslin, you'll want to let him and the lads know you're one of us. There's a party on. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colours. It's nice to have it is, across the mug. Ought to do it. Make way.
Level up. Oh, what a good place to end it. All right, yeah. I'm going to level up, and then that's going to be it. So if you don't care about the leveling up, get the heck on out of here right now. But I need 11 more experience pair. No time to die. Somehow my main character missed out on 11 experience. not reaction. All right, and that's that. Uh, so, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, next time I play Bowser's Gate 3, I'll hopefully get 11 more experience with my Warlock and then get